Hi, this is Daniel Nugent, painter and decorator. Um, today I just want to show you a quick tip if you have bad plaster lines, so like where you wall meets your ceiling. Um, you can't really tell on the cap, but can you see how bad that is? I mean, a lot of that has been caulked. There's a lot of cracks along here. It's not dead straight. So if you follow the plaster line, you're going to go up, down, up, down. It's going to be wavy as anything. You're going to hit, the, go onto the ceiling. Um, like whoever done this hallway, if I'll show you, you see, you look at all that, but they've followed the line and you end up, when you look at it from, if you look at it upwards like that, you'll see they've had to hit the ceiling in places. So what I do is, I usually cut my own line in, just a few mil uh, below the, the actual plasterer's lines. And what you get, the effect you get is really nice. You get a nice crisp line. It looks like you've put a, it looks like you've put a bead of cork all the way around the edges. It, it just finishes it off nice. And I'm gonna do it the same on that feature wall. I'm gonna kind of like, I've, as you can see, I've hit the magnolia onto the feature wall. And this is the best way to do these as well, because you don't wanna bring your feature wall right in that corner. Cause as you look at it from this angle, you, you'll see it all wavy. So just, just bring it back slightly and cut your own neat line down there. If, if you, confident enough to do it um, and it will look so sharp and straight it will just give it a better finish but as you can see look up there look at that it just looks nice so you're not if you look at it from down here look you don't see anything on the ceiling and that's the way I tackle bad plaster lines thank you for watching so there you go that's the finished product as you can see nice clean lines um, so as I say, feature wall, always do your light colour first and then bring your grey up to it or whatever colour you're doing uh, and cut within, don't go right up because as I say, you don't want to see it on the edge. You want nice clean lines. Okay, so that's, that's just a little tip if, if you have bad plaster lines. But it does look good, it does look effective. And I know this customer's pleased with it, she's already sort of commented on it, so there you go.